So we've been focusing a lot on our PowerPoint presentation itself. But now I'd like to uh, talk a bit more about notes pages as well as handouts, some other items you might find useful in the PowerPoint program. Uh, first off, if you remember, at the very beginning of this class, I mentioned that we can add in notes for any slide that we select. So if I click on a slide, you should see a notes section down below. And I do have a note on this slide. Make sure employees fill out name tense. Uh, you can turn that notes section on or off, show or hide it by clicking on this notes icon in the bottom right hand corner. And when you're seeing those notes, uh, you can actually resize this notes portion at the bottom of PowerPoint. If you simply hover your cursor um, on top of that horizontal line directly above your notes, you'll see that cursor change to an arrow icon with arrows pointing up and down. And once you see that icon, you can then click and drag up or down to give yourself a bit more room or less room for your notes, depending on your personal preference. Now, um, we can fill out notes on the slides themselves in our normal view, or if you remember, uh, one of the additional views we have in PowerPoint is the notes page view. We can get there by going to the view tab above the ribbon. All the way on the left hand side of the ribbon in the view tab is a presentation views group, and here we can click on our notes page option. Notes page. So in the notes page, you will get to see that thumbnail of your slide. And down below, you do have a text box you can click into uh, to type in whatever notes you have about this particular slide. Again, maybe some talking points, definitions, things that are going to help you out with your live presentation. So you can always uh, format those notes however you like, change the font size, font style, font color, whatever is easiest for you to read. Um, but typically what we do with uh, notes pages is well, a lot of times we print them out, maybe for practice or uh, to show other people what we're working on or doing. So let's go ahead and actually uh, print one of these notes pages. Now your print options in PowerPoint, those are in the backstage view, which remember you get to by clicking on the file tab in the top left hand corner. And then in the backstage view on the left hand side is our print tab. So when you get to the print tab, uh, you'll get a print preview of what you're printing, but by default, you're only printing just full page slides, and that's it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is right underneath your um, print settings, you can choose if you want to print all slides, your current slide, or a custom range of slides, but we're still not going to print these out as notes pages. So underneath this range where you can type in a number of slides you want to print, or a range of slides, it will say full page slides. And this is what we click on to switch to perhaps notes pages. Yep. If I click on full page slides, I get notes pages. And there you go, you get uh, one page for each individual slide with the thumbnail of the slide at the top and all the notes down below. And so I can go through all the pages, check out my notes. Okay. In addition to printing out notes pages, another thing that uh, is commonly printed in PowerPoint would be handouts. And handouts just show us thumbnails of a particular number of slides of our choosing on, well, every page we print. So to do this, well, I'm going to click where it says notes pages now, right underneath that uh, little slides field. And there's a whole section for handouts where you can choose how many slides you'd like per page. Maybe you want six slides per page, or four slides per page, or uh, three slides per page. And you can do this in a vertical or horizontal setup. Um, the one that's most different from the others in terms of handouts would actually be the three slide option. Three slides is interesting because, well, it will give you three slides per page, but you'll also get some space on the right hand side of these pages to write in any notes you have or if you have any uh, questions or work to be done, yep, write it in right there. Uh, one more thing I'll point out that we can print out that you might enjoy would be the uh, outline. Yep. Remember, outline is all the text in your presentation, all the text that's in placeholders. You won't see any text in text boxes, but you might just want to get uh, yeah, all that text. Your notes won't be here either, though, so don't expect to print an outline and get your notes. Okay, but those are just a few different print options we have for additional items you might want to use in PowerPoint. Remember to get uh, out of the backstage view and back to your presentation. We'll just click on that back arrow in the top left-hand corner. And if you are still in the notes page view, simply go to the view tab above the ribbon and click on normal all the way on the left hand side. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. 
and click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.